Now let's talk about the maintenance functions. Press the setup button and your screen should look something like this. Note that if you are running two spouts, there is a maintenance screen for spout A and a maintenance screen for spout B. They look the same, but the settings are specific to each spout. Press the maintenance button. Once you are in the maintenance screen, you have several options available to you depending on the type of equipment you have installed. These settings are designed so that you can set up the screen to function according to your particular needs. Note that some of these settings may not appear on your touchscreen. The buttons shown are determined by the type of equipment you have attached. First, let's start with enabling or disabling certain features to optimize the touchscreen with features that will best fit your store's needs press the button called Setup Options. Depending on the type of equipment you have installed, you will see a screen very similar to this one. Some options may not be available on your system, and I'm going to briefly discuss what each of these options shown here will do. The first checkbox is Enable Time Serving Size. If you check this box, four serving sizes will be displayed on your menu screen. These sizes are small, medium, large and extra large. If you do not select this option, the operator can draw any size product they choose and the flavor or mix-ins will be dispensed as long as the draw handle is opened. Let's check it for now so that you can see what it looks like and I will show you later on how to customize the sizes for your particular needs. Like the time serving size option, if you check the enable injector flush button an injector flush button will be put on the main menu screen. The button allows the operator to flush water through the injector head between servings. Note that this is not recommended for self-serve environments. The injector flush feature is a nice feature to occasionally clean the injector head. It can also help to eliminate product carryover from one serving to another. However, a more preferred method to minimize product carryover is the white capping method. When properly trained, white capping is quicker and easier than flushing after a serving. Note that this should not be checked if you are serving FCB product. Instead, you might consider the FCB purge option. The Enable Auto Dispense Mode button can be selected if you have a frozen beverage unit attached to the touchscreen. However, it should only be enabled if you are dispensing FCB, frozen carbonated beverage and have the optional automatic dispense system attached to the draw spout. If you are not dispensing FCB product, or if you do not have this automatic dispense feature on your spout, do not select this option. When enabled, this option will automatically dispense product when either a serve button is pressed on the touchscreen or the red button is pressed on the automatic dispense mechanism on the draw spout. When you enable the Dispense Instruction screen, a Next button is shown on the main menu screen. When the operator selects this Next button, the operator will be taken to a screen that gives instructions on how to dispense the product. This is mainly used in self-serve environments. Note that the operator does not need to advance to this instruction screen to dispense product, but it is there to help eliminate any confusion of what to do after the flavors are selected. When you enable the self-serve mode, an extra instruction is included on the main menu screen. Note that this can be used in conjunction with the Enable Dispense instruction screen. However, it cannot be used in conjunction with the Enable Time Serving Size mode. Also note that when this option is enabled, the Setup button will not appear on the home screen. You can still access the Setup options by pressing the upper left-hand corner of the screen but it is not visible so that the customer will not try to access any of the setup features. The Enable FCB Purge Mode is only available if a Flavor Burst beverage system is attached to the touchscreen. It should only be enabled if you are running FCB product. This feature injects some air into the FCB spout after each serving to help eliminate residual product from the spout. Note that this feature cannot be selected if the Enable Injector Flush option is enabled. Press the Back button and you'll be taken back to this screen. Now, let's start by pressing the Menu Setup button. This button allows you to assign flavors to each pump or mixing container. In this case, we have a flavoring unit attached, so it gives us flavoring options. First, select the pump you want to assign a flavor to, and then 
find the flavor installed with that pump. If some reason you do not want to use that pump, for example if you are out of a flavor in that pump, you can select this box to disable it. It will then not show up on your menu selection screen. Once you are done programming all the pumps, press the back button or done button. In this case, we want to go back to the previous menu, so let's just press the back button. Now, let's adjust the dispense rate for each flavor. Press the adjust dispense rate button. For each flavor you assign to each pump, you can adjust the flavor level from 1 to 10. 1 is the least amount of flavor and 10 is the highest. I recommend starting at a level of 5, trying it out, and then adjust according to taste and appearance. For FCB machines, you may want to start at a level closer to 8 because the flow rate tends to be fast for those types of units, so you need the flavoring flow rate to be fast as well. Once you've done this for all flavors, press back to get 